Hey all, Hiba here. So, we are taking out the Shambar today because uh, today is the last video before the new update drops. And as I'm sure you know, the campaign ship for the coming update is the Flandre, uh, which is um, a French battleship with three turrets and nine guns. And am I excited about that ship? No, not at all. Um, I think it's gonna be another dud, uh, like pretty much all the other French battleships except for this one here, Shambar, which is probably the best battleship in the game, <laughs> tier for tier. The best thing about Shambar here is that it's just so simple to play. I mean, uh, you don't have a third turret in the rear that is always, you know, begging to be used. Uh, when you go bow in, you have your full power, like firepower available, and not even that, you also have a main battery reload boost. <laughs> Just to make it even more ridiculous um, and sure when this ship came out it was probably just a little bit too powerful for its own good uh, it was never nerfed though um, which it probably should have been looking back uh, these days it's not that much of a problem uh, to deal with because uh, other ships have gotten progressively better as well like for example the cruisers uh, when this ship just came out I think it was the Christmas Christmas 2020, I think. Uh, I can't remember, it's been for a while in the game. And back then we didn't really have any of the super powerful cruisers, so this thing was just, it was just a nightmare you had to deal with. It isn't anymore, it's still very, very powerful. And still a very easy battleship to play. And, uh, but it's not, you know, like, uh, super duper magnificent anymore. Um, it's good. Um, and it is the best tier 7 battleship, uh, I think. And in the game, I think only probably Yamato and Conqueror are better. And are they even better? I don't know. Because at the tier, I, nothing really beats Jean Bao, I think. Uh, mainly because of the simplicity involved in playing this, this ship here. Um, you just have to make sure you don't get Citadel, and that's it. I play the ship with a Giprat because uh, I want the fastest reload possible. Um, I don't really give much like, credence to having range and penetration and all that stuff that other people put on their battleships. I do it just as well with my reload builds here and um, I think that's the way to go. But anyway, whatever you whatever you fancy is whatever you, you'll play, I guess. Um, but like I said, jump bar is just, it's just so easy to play. Uh, just find a good spot like here, where, you know, you have your broadsides covered and uh, you can just take pot shots at any broadsides that pop up. And that's about it. And at the same time, I'm trying to cap here. At the moment, I'm keeping the enemy team from capping. Um, because no one else is pushing in at all, as you can tell. And that's very typical on this map here. It's like, I actually like the map. I just hate playing it because... Usually people play exactly like this. They give up the flanks completely and they all congregate in the middle. And uh, I mean, I had the middle spawn, so uh, I mean, I kind of have to move in here. And <laughs> but uh, I don't know what the other people's uh, uh, excuses. So anyway, I'm trying to sneak around so I can uh, surprise this Minotaur here because he is he's obviously not paying attention at all. And uh, I am quite surprised I don't take him out of the game right here um, interesting that shot there didn't do anything pretty much but uh, okay fine <laughs> so I can see the destroyer getting into uh, you know attack position and the Minotaur has finally seen me and he's panicking now but uh, that's okay that's too late because uh, he's gonna get removed right there and he's in the way for the gearing so he can't fire torps at me uh, but I do wish now that I took that gearing out while I had the chance because, uh, wow, he's, he's going to be really annoying for the rest of the battle. And um, I could probably have removed him, but I would have been, I think I would have been picked off myself doing that. And I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the battle, but I do wish I had been able to at least give him a nasty cell there before he disappeared. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, not, uh, not possible. So I'm... Um, Desperately trying to keep this cap here because we have no caps in this game here. Nobody's even trying to take caps. They're just, uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're doing other stuff. 
So that's fine. I will sit in here and I will just uh, keep this kept for as long as I possibly can. Because, <laughs> I mean, we, we need to push now um, if, we, if we're going to win this game here. Because this is... Uh, all the blue ships are in terrible positions. They're pretty much sitting in open water and bow tanking and reversing every single one of them. And uh, that's, that's not how you win games. Um, and also, if there's already a ship in here holding the cap, then there is absolutely no need for another ship to be in here, and especially a uh, a cruiser like that. Um, there's just uh, like he, he can't shoot at anything. And uh, I was in here first, so uh, I will defend this area. So you go and do something else. That's pretty much the idea here. I don't really play this ship a lot here because I kind of consider it almost cheating, just like playing Cleveland and uh, a few other ships. Uh, because it's just it's just so good and it's uh it's very very difficult not to have good battles in this ship here um pretty much the only way you can do that is if you get like citadel right off the bat or anything like that you get rushed by a destroyer uh other than that you're sick you're pretty much guaranteed two three kills and 100 and 120 000 damage every time you play and yeah it's a nice ship for you know boosting your stats but uh yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a, it's a ship that helps the game. Let's put it like that. But anyway, it's here and it's been here for probably two years now, and it hasn't been nerfed and hasn't done anything to it. So I'm assuming that more gaming is happy with the state of the ship, and well, that's fine with me because, like I said, it's not so powerful anymore. But back in the day when you were facing this ship in Shal Martel and stuff like that, ah, oh, that was uh, that was difficult. It was. I'll say that. Uh, but like I said, these days, um, you can uh, you can deal with this ship here easier. Like cruisers like Atago can do really well against uh, Shamba, and the same with Hiba. Uh, so it's not invincible. But the thing is that this ship, you know, uh, makes average or even poor players appear much better than they actually are, uh, simply because the ship is just so easy to play, and you can't really do anything wrong in it. Well, you can't, but um, you know what I mean here, that it kind of amplifies your skill, this ship here, because it is so powerful. And if you watch this channel, you don't, you know I don't like ships like that. I actually prefer the ships that kind of, you know, neuter your skill a little bit. At least a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. So uh, it's, it's a lot more rewarding uh, winning a battle that way than it is to take out the Jean Bar and, you know, uh, bombard every broadside cruiser you see with your like, eight forward-facing guns and your main battery reload boost. It's just a little bit silly, I think. It's like people who uh, who race like a 1970s Volkswagen in their brand new Ferrari or something like that. It's just yeah, you won, but I mean <laughs> you really should have won. If you didn't win, then yeah. That would have been pretty weird. Uh, and also, like, if you play Xiang Ba, then uh, if you don't have a good battle, then uh, something is something is wrong. I do like the ship because it actually existed. Um, that is a plus. I mean, same with the Richelieu. I think like, any ship that actually existed is a lot more interesting to play than you know ships that didn't exist. And uh, same with you know ships like Yamato. Pretty much the only battleship at legendary tier that actually existed and i mean that it just makes it a lot cooler i think um so that shaba has that going for it that it actually was a ship at some point and uh it actually did saw action not a lot but uh, i did see some action um but of course it is just a computer ship that you guide around with your joypad but uh, still it's uh it's fun to play i'm not gonna deny that because like, because it's so good, you always have good battles. So obviously, well, that translates into a fun ship to play. Um, but is it a fair ship to play? I don't think so. I think it's a little bit ridiculous, actually. But, I mean, it's the same with um, Cleveland. Like, I don't understand why that ship hasn't been nerfed yet, because I think that ship is ridiculous. And... Uh, It'll be interesting to see what the upcoming Des Moines is like. I know that's going to be primarily armor-piercing, 
and not high explosives. At least if you play it the way it's intended. Um, and I think that that's, that's going to be more fair, I think, because if you position in such a way that you take uh, direct AP damage, well, then you've done something wrong. But against HE, there's really no defense. Um, you might be able to shatter the shells themselves, but the fires will uh, will get you sooner or later. And um, yeah, you, you can you can think about that what you will, but uh, I think it's a little bit too much at times. So uh, you see, I've spent the whole battle here in the middle spawn uh, holding that, and then you know defending the right flank and the left flank, whichever was uh, in trouble. And <laughs> I mean. Uh, Especially that uh, C flank there, there's just absolutely nothing going on. And it's not like they are overpowered. There's two battleships out there versus a single Baltimore. And uh, it looks like the gearing has some fun with those battleships. Because if, if you reverse that far out in your battleship, like you are going to be a torpedo bait. And I, I still don't understand why so many people don't understand that. Like if you run away from your cruisers, well, then you are on your own, <laughs> especially if you reverse. Because, you know, cruisers have jobs to do. They have to be in the middle of the map. They have to kill destroyers. So they cannot run around out there at the edge of the map defending you from, you know, weird torpedo attacks. So I almost got that Baltimore there. Had I gotten him, that would have been my Kraken, but unfortunately he just survived like a sliver of health. And then someone else gets the pleasure. But that's okay, we have 4 versus 3 now, I'm thinking, oh, we might actually pull this off. Uh, because, as you can tell, it's not exactly the most confident team I have here. We are, like, 12 minutes into the game and they've started to cap A now. Um, which is, like, it's way too late, way too late. Look how much, look how many points the enemies have. Like, it's just, if you sit back for that long, for, like, you can sit back for a maximum of 5 minutes. And that's an absolute maximum. If you don't make a move, then um, at least in domination battles, then like, chances are you're going to lose. Um, unless the enemy is just as docile. <laughs> of course that happens too, but it happens a lot less than uh, the enemy is just grabbing every cap and just playing the waiting game. So you can see the gearing on his own removed the two battleships over on the sea flank. Which is why I thought like, oh, I wish I had been able to take that guy out. Had I been in a cruiser, I probably would have been able to do it, but not in a battleship with like 20 second reload. And even though I have a fast reload in this battleship here, I was unable to do it. Um, Minotaur would probably have been able to do it. Um, which is why I really like that ship. <laughs> um, but again, like if you reverse all the way back like that in your battleship, especially two battleships, like you are just screaming out to get torped by a destroyer. It is, of course, obviously what happened. Because any destroyer player worth their salt will know that two battleships sit sitting out there, they're like easy prey, super easy prey. Uh, so anyway, we get a very nice shot at this Gufius here, and that gives us the Confederate and the fourth kill. So, uh... Unfortunately, the time is running out here. I simply don't have enough time to finish this here off. I probably could, because the Alaska is almost dead, and if he was broadside here, I could have finished him off. Um, but of course, we are still way behind on points, simply because no one pushed in at the beginning. And uh, at least he gave me a high caliber there. So uh, I'm not getting out of this battle empty-handed, but I'm getting out of it quite disappointed in, you know, well how long it took for my team to actually try to do something useful in the game. Um, like when you when you play this game here, you really have to think about everything that goes on. I mean, if I stay out far away from the cap for too long, well, then the enemies are going to nudge up a very nice lead on points. And then if you don't have a plan to actually, you know, like get those points back, well, then you lose. And I don't think, well, I pretty well I, sh I know for a fact that most people who play this game don't have any plan whatsoever uh, and that's fine in the beginning of the battle no one has a plan in the beginning of the battle it, like the plan kind of takes shape as the gameplay you know moves forward but you will need a plan at some point <laughs> if you just do random things then uh, yeah 
it's not really gonna work out very well. So uh, this is going to be a loss here, but uh, 150 damage, high caliber confederate and four kills and a solo cap. I'd say it's a pretty good effort on, on my part here, but that's just, what can you do? <laughs> so anyway, that was uh, Xiaomi Ba people. And um, I think this will still be the king uh, even after Flandre comes. I'm pretty sure, mark my words. Anyway, see you out there people.